coming to the basics, autoantibodies play a very important role in the diagnosis of rheumatological conditions. However, there, all, there are always false positive and false negative results. Uh, it is very important for the clinicians to know when to order these tests and how to interpret these tests. So, um, when do they order autoantibodies? So, um, as um, we've done a thorough uh, history and a clinical examination, you're already uh, aware of what the pretest probability for uh, certain investigations will be. So, only when you have a very high pretest probability, you will be uh, requesting, for example, an ANA antibody. So you would look for certain clinical clues in the history as well as in the clinical examination which will then lead you on to request the tests. For example, if a patient has polyarthralgia then you are looking for swelling in the joints, extreme morning stiffness in the joints and um, symmetrical distribution in the joints when you are suspecting rheumatoid arthritis and then you go on to request a rheumatoid factor. And uh, say, for example, you're seeing Raynaud's in summary, and you would ask for other connective tissue disease symptoms like mouth ulcers, um, sicker symptoms such as dry eyes and dry mouth, photosensitivity, etc. When you go on to request an ANA antibody. If a patient comes to you with a recurrent uveitis, then you're thinking about sarcoid and certain other rheumatological conditions, so you go on to, invest in, uh, to request those tests. Um, a person comes with a history of uh, multiple miscarriages, then you're thinking about antiphospholipid syndrome and that will help you um, to decide what tests you want to request.